Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Seven Nights Ghost. Now, you are staying seven nights in a haunted place, and the ghost is going to haunt you for all seven of those nights. We are going to see how scary this haunting actually is. If you guys cool with that, you're done with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Is that a floating cat picture? Oh, no. It's somebody staring at a picture of their cats. And this is from Tozuku Games. You never heard of Tozuku Games? Get with the times. It took about three hours from Tokyo by bullet train and local train. I finally arrived here. For the next seven days, I will live alone in this company housing until the mass production startup at the factory is completed. The note on the company housing should be in the living room. Let's check it first. I know how to move. So this is a scary game, everybody. And I'm already actually in the apartment. I thought this was the door to get in. I'm already messing up. This is already a fucky walky from the get-go. But let me check this out. A note is placed. Perhaps this is a note on company housing. Confirm the contents? Of course. This is Sato from the property management office. Once you have checked in, please check the following. Water flowing in the kitchen. Lighting beside the bed. Lighting in the restroom. Lighting in the shower room. If you have any questions, please contact me. It seems I need to check the facilities in this room. It seems this hasn't been used for a long time. I'm sleepy, so let's get this over with. Mission objective, confirmation of company housing facilities. What a task. What a mission objective. But the task can be checked at any time from the tab key. So read the notes in the living room. Check the water in the kitchen is flowing. Okay, let me see. It's a kitchen faucet. Turn on the water. The water ran smoothly. Confirmation of water supply is completed. Hold on. There's something flickering right here. Is somebody sliding into my DMs? It's a smartphone. Confirm the contents. This is Sato from the property management office. As I informed you in advance, the demolition of this property will start once you have checked out after seven days. If there is something left behind, it will be discarded. Please be careful, Sato. P.S. Welcome to the haunted company housing. You will be the last resident here. Oh boy. Oh dear. That's kind of creepy. This game already looks scary as shit. It's a donut I bought at the station. Let's eat later. Let me see what kind it is, if you got good taste. Chocolate with sprinkles? I'm a strawberry with sprinkles kind of girl myself. It's a cat figurine. I also have three cats at home. It's a fairly large flat screen TV. Maybe bigger than the one at my home. Not at my home, though. My shit's bigger. And girthier. And it has a line down the middle. A light blue illustration is displayed in frame. A desaturated picture is displayed in frame. Okay, I'm done checking out all these things. It's a water heater remote control. I need to check the lighting beside the bed. Oh, dude. There's gonna be a dead body here. It's a simple stand light. Turn on the lights? Sure. This is the one that we need to confirm that the light is working, right? Because I'm a little pussy boy! Alright, it's working. Okay. Bro, chill out. Oh my! <laughs> Bed lamp seems fine. Yeah, it comes with complimentary person in a gown. Check the lighting beside the bed. Now I need to check the lighting in the bathroom and check the lighting in the restroom. Aren't those two the same thing? Isn't that the same shit? La bathroom and restroom? Why is this stuff here? Remove it? No. I'm okay. This is the bathroom. Let's turn the light on. Please. How do I turn the light on? Is this a robot? Bro, just find the light. For the love of everything that is holy. Okay. Is this the bathroom? Bathroom lighting looks fine. It does. I might have to take a few selfies in here. Wait, how does the water... Oh my god. There's somebody with some stinky ass toes right behind me. Oh, that is freaking creepy. What do you want? Nani kure? Watashi wa J. Watashi mo. I don't even know how to say what is your name. Mm! Okay. I am officially freaked out. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. <laughs> Seems like it's all in my head. 
that high pitched scream that I just screamed was not all in my head. Check the lighting in the bathroom. <laughs> Check the lighting in the restroom. Isn't this the lighting in the restroom? Wait, do you mean the bedroom? I mean, ah! Oh, crap. This is one of those games, huh? It's a toilet cleaner. Oh, God. Dude! I got the chills! Bro, I got the chills that kill. And I can't move, by the way. Wait, are your hands like this? Oh, I get it. Because you're coming in through this way. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. I just wanted to know your style of haunting. Like, how do you do it? Are you going to look at me? Are you going to look at me? I'm prepared, everybody. What? If you're going to haunt me, then haunt me then. Oh! Okay. We did it! Yay! Now what? I did everything you want- Oh, check the TV in the living room. TV is moving by itself. Is it malfunctioning? No, this happens when you didn't pay your cable bill or something. Right? How come my thing is all fuzzy? Like, the screen looks dirty, like I have to wipe it. I can't find the remote control. Shoot. I don't like this one bit. Maybe it's somewhere near the TV? I've gotten jump scared like four times already. And this game hasn't even been- <laughs> Why is that so freaking loud? Looks like I'll better find it soon. It's a TV remote control. Take it, yes! <sighs> Okay, what was it doing tucked away in the ass crack of that thing? Finally got around to turning off the TV. This is actually so creepy. Is there something in the reflection? Or is that just me? I've done all the checking. I'm going to bed. Not so fast. Something tells me the night is only getting started. Huh? Don't you dare touch that dial. Seems the TV is malfunctioning already. I'll call the property management office tomorrow. I like that this game has a lot of cutscenes. It's cool. The oh, fuck you doing touching me like that? This is my favorite station. Don't you dare. It's getting to the good part. What's up, baby girl? What's up, baby girl? Hey, what are you doing with that? Why are you throwing up gang signs? I don't know you like that. Who does your nails? Oh, donut? Chocolate with sprinkles. Favorite of the underworld. Yeah? Is is that the way to your heart? It is. Well, it's yours. All for the simple ask of never haunting me again, please. So, the ghost just took my donut and dipped. I don't know. I, I feel worse now. I would rather get haunted than, some, than a ghost take my donut. It looks like I was let off the hook. So I guess I need to go to Krispy Kreme, get a fat dozen, and we just got to make sure that we survive the rest of the week. Actually, if I get a half dozen, then all I have to do is get six more donuts, and then a half dozen is six. So all I need to do is just go down to my local Krispy Kreme, get a couple glazed, actually the chocolate with the sprinkles, maybe a few strawberry with the sprinkles, bada bing, bada boom, no more haunting. Day two. I came home after a day's work. A long, boring day where I was crunching numbers and talking to people that I hate. It seems that the rumors about this room are well known, even in the factory. Did you see a ghost? I was asked three times. I did. 
Everyone laughed so hard when I replied, I was attacked and robbed of my donut. I mean, you see how ridiculous that sounds though? Honestly. You could just say you were attacked but leave out the donut part. This room is even worse than rumored, but there is no other place to sleep. I'm trying to stay calm until the last day. Is that a baby girl? Come on. What does that say? That thing blurrier than Japanese porn. I can't even read that. What does that even mean? Another extra job? I don't want to take that. Bro, not only did I just get home from work, I am being haunted. Mission objective, check inventory of supplies. Find laundry detergent, find band-aid, find cello tape. Hold on, let me read this real quick. This is Sato from the property management. Sorry, so late before the demolition. We'd like to collect some equipment in the room. May I ask you to check the inventory, band-aid, laundry detergent, cello tape. Thank you for your help. Please take good rest, Sato. Okay, let's see. Anything here? Oh my goodness, why am I so freaking scared? I'm nervous already. Oh boy. This is not good. It's hard when you are just on edge the entire time. What is that? I got band-aids. Whew. Why am I grabbing that? That is not a band-aid. That is a rhino beetle or whatever it's called. It's a well-made stag beetle toy. Did the previous occupant leave it behind? I guess I'll take it. That's a random thing for a previous occupant to leave behind. But I got the stag beetle toy, so I guess that's good. I don't want to keep shit like that in my pocket. All right. Well, we got one out of three. Now I need to find laundry detergent and cello tape. Um, I am so freaking nervous. Ah! <sighs> it's hard to read, but it says, get out of here. That's not nice. Didn't I just... Oh, wait. Is that cello tape? Yes! Okay, so basically it's just white tape. Yes! Oh, my God. So, record it on my smartphone. Sending. Sending what? The fact that I got those items? I've contacted Miss Sato. Good. So, I just needed to get those supplies, and then I just needed to text? Tomorrow will be early, too, so let's get to bed right away. It's a trick. It's a trap. No ghost is ever gonna ask for your hand. You know? On some help me. That startled me a little bit, I won't lie. That made my butthole tickle. I mean, you know what I mean? Bro, these cutscenes, man. I already knew it. I knew you were gonna do that! <sighs> this freaking game. Bro, this girl from The Ring should have stayed in her own movie franchise. What is she doing in this game? What? You're thinking if you wanna kill me or not, right? Cause I'm a nice guy, yeah? And I'm caring and understanding, funny, humble. What? Oh, that thing? Yeah, that thing's been in my family for generations. What is up with this game? She's gone. No, she's not. <laughs> What is this game? I like it and I don't like it at the same time. Do you want that? You could have it. I just came into this apartment. This is not really mine. That's that's a toy. You want to play with it? Yeah, come on. Come on. Gather around. Gather around the campfire. I'll tell you a story all about that beetle. You have some big ass feet though. Oh, you want to kill it. Yeah, see, it's not real. Kind of like you. It's all just made up to scare the children. Whoa! She looks extremely angry. That's not my fault, though. I'm not the one who 
picked up the beetle. I felt like I picked it up and I didn't even know that was a thing that I could do. So don't get mad at me, Ghost. She's not very good with bugs. So are we getting to know her? Is that the kind of vibe that I'm picking up from here? So we have seven nights and we're getting to know this ghost little by little. Day three. This game is creepy. My hands are super sweaty. Hmm? What is it, pal? What are you looking at? Hmm. Wait. This is the last of my yogurt. This freaking ghost, man. Look at this. Nothing predictable. The ghost just takes and takes and takes. I knew it had gone. I knew it. The pudding I bought yesterday is gone. Look at this fist. Shaking this angry fist. There's only one person who could have done this. Let me guess. She's wearing a bed sheet. She has long black hair. It's her. She did it. And she didn't even clean the spoon. If that were true, this donut I bought today is targeted too. I have to hide it somehow. I'm really gonna have to figure out where to hide this donut. Are you joking me? This ghost can go through walls, and now I have to hide the donuts. The ghost is gonna be following me, and now I have to hide a donut that she probably already knows where exactly it is. Okay, let's do this. Find food storage container, find food storage container lid. Okay. So, this is all we have to do in this game? Is just find shit? Hold on. Oh, okay. This is Ito from Development Section 1. Thanks for your business trip. How was life at the haunted company housing? Did you meet the rumored ghost? Kidding aside, so don't worry about it too much. Some rumors have been going around for a few years that the TV turns on by itself or that the snacks seem to be vanishing, but I think people were just imagining things. Take care of yourself so you don't get tired and have weird visions, Ito. Okay. Let me see. Let's look over here. Huh. Nothing there. Okay, rusty. Stick file. Why is this stuff here? Should I remove that? I removed it. Are you angry at me? Please tell me you're not. Oh, hello. Okay, maybe I should stay away from you. Maybe I should go this way. I'm kind of scared going this way. Honestly. Oh, boy. Oh, goddamn. I am nervous as fuck. Oh, no. Come on. Dude, is it compatible with IH? What does that mean? What does that even mean? Um, I don't know, but the ghost is over there. So maybe I'm okay? Please tell me I am. Pliers, pipe wrench, bird. Oh, boy. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh! That was the lid. That's it. Okay. Now I got a container to put the donut in. But I just want to clean the container before putting it in. Is there any way to clean it? Like this. What? You're kidding me, right? How do I clean this shit? Huh? Okay. Toilet? The turlet? No? Oh, man. I can't use that? There you go. I have to click the sponge. I've scrubbed the food storage container clean. Now I just need to hide the donuts when she's not looking. I'm gonna need something to attract her attention. Wash the food storage container. Find items to induce her? Hold on. Maybe this? No, not the mysterious canned food. Okay. Tea bag. Okay. Take the alarm clock. Now, let's use this to lure her in. First, use this to lure her to the restroom. And while she's going to the restroom, I'll hide the donuts in the closet. Okay, she's right there. So, restroom is right here. Okay, it's a paper holder, toilet lid, place the alarm clock, there you go. I set my alarm clock for one minute. All right? Bro, if a ghost was haunting me like this, I'm sleeping on the streets, man. Just give me a pillow and a blankie, I'm set. I'm set. And yeah, I said blankie. Because if I'm going to let a ghost push me out the house, I no longer have a blanket. I have a blankie. I lost blanket privileges once I got scared by a ghost haunting my house, okay? And I don't have a pillow. I have a head resting station. Okay, the alarm went on. Come on. So we just have to open the closet? Really? Wow. So all we had to do was wait for the alarm to go off, 
Open the closet. Bam. Mission accomplished. Now the donut is safe. Yeah, that donut is mine. I bought that donut for breakfast before I go to work tomorrow. Yeah, I'm a hardworking blue collar man and I would like my donut before I do my nine to five. I won't let my, oh. Is she? Did she really take the fattest bite too? I told you to get a half dozen, dude. What did I tell you? How much are donuts in Japan? You couldn't get a half dozen? Why are you getting singular donuts? Please, please return. I want my donut, please. I'll let you haunt me, just give me my donut. <laughs> Yo! So this is a game where nothing is safe. I thought she disappeared and then BOOM! Right back in my face. And she won't give me my glazed green tea matcha donut. I don't know what that is. It looked like it was like white frosting with a little bit of green. So I'm just gonna say matcha. All is lost. Damn you, ghost. Damn you! Day four. The days are just flying by. Because all we really have to do is just gather some things. I put hot water in the instant noodle. Love instant noodle. Eating instant noodle at midnight is so unhealthy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah totally. I, I, I don't love eating instant noodle. Who said that? Not me. Come on. But I'm so tired today. Let's just eat whatever I want and go to bed. Yeah. Up top. Up top for living on your own and making your own decisions. Eat whatever you want. I can't find the chopsticks. I saw that giant ladle in there. Just use that. You live alone. That's strange. It was here yesterday. Or just suck it from the whole thing. Just go. No way. She hid that. Yeah, just like she ate my donut. Just like she played with my stag beetle. No kidding. The noodles will get soggy. I'm telling you, just flip the lid and just go. <coughs> Note to self, don't do that. Find a substitute. More chopsticks. <laughs> just, <coughs> just suck it. <coughs> just suck it from the thing. Oh, crap. Yo, I'm about to cry. All right. So, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Okay. Let's see something real quick. Let me see something real quick. It's a smartphone. Confirm the contents. This is Yokohama. Thanks for your hard work. I heard from Ito that you are on a business trip to the haunted company housing. It's a property with many rumors, but I'm sure you'll be fine with it. Your family's home is a temple. I think the ghost owes you a favor too. I think it is cold there, so please do your best not to catch a cold. Development Division General Manager Yokoyama. P.S. Is Nina doing well? I don't know. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Ah! It's a simple stand light. Yeah, it is. It kind of looked like the ghost though. Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. I'm just gonna go back here. Maybe there's a chopstick. You never know. Is that one of them? Hold on. I got the SF Saber. Yeah, buddy. Where you at? Where you at? Show me. Show thyself. It's pliers. All right. It's not Marka pliers, but it's pliers. What's that? Toilet cleaner. Nothing. Okay, maybe I can just eat it with one chopstick just twirl it around no Okay, all right Well, I guess we're just gonna keep looking So at least if I die if I get my butt cheeks clap at least we found one of them And it would be so obvious if there was another chopstick here What does that mean is it compatible with IH? What does that mean? Hold on, she's around here. Let me go back here. Get away from me. Get away from me. Fuck. It's a hanger. Maybe it could replace chopsticks if it's crafted. Take this. Sure. Looks like it's made of wire. I think it could be used for chopsticks if I cut it. Let me find a tool that can cut the wire. Oh! Okay. I know exactly where that is. We saw some pliers and some wire cutters over here. Right here. That thing. Yes! Am I really about to eat it with a toy and a part of a hanger? I cut the hanger to the right length. Craft chopstick from hanger. 
Bro, did we just one take Jay this in like one minute? I finally finished eating them using impromptu chopsticks. I just speed ran the cup noodle shit. I hope I won't get a stomach ache later. You'll be all right. Huh? I think the ghost is hungry too. I think she made herself cup noodle too. And she just pulled out a bunch of chopsticks. This is a sick, cruel world that we live in. I've got my chopsticks and fork back now. Fork that. I want my own chopsticks. I made my own. I crafted that shit like I invented it. That girl, she's just messing with me. And now she's watching TV. Imagine she was eating her own cup noodle like a boss. I honestly would respect that. It's 40 degrees in here? Holy shit. And we're just gonna chill on the chair and watch some TV with this ghost. What is this game? What is happening right now? Bro, lonely for real. This is the definition of down bad lonely simulator. Gotta be. Can I ask you a question? Please? I'll take that slight head turn as a yes. Why don't you go to heaven? Holy shit, personal questions, man. Read the room. I think she's stuck here because usually if a person is a ghost... I knew it. That's my bad. I did not mean to... I did not mean to offend you like that. What? Whoa. That's cool. I always wanted to live with a good looking man. Hey. 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 By the way, you're not good. <laughs> Like I said, down bad simulator. Like, our hopes got up just for them to just crash down. Stock market style. That hurts. That hurts! Oh shit, you're down bad. <laughs> hey, this ghost got jokes. I like this girl. Day five. What is it? It's from the direction of the TV. Then look that way, bozo. What happened here? What is that? Oh, I thought that was a real cat. I mean, you could do whatever you do. I feel like this is her house. It's the cat figurine displayed beside the TV. She broke it. Her ghostly powers finally caught up to her. Did she drop it? Its tail is broken off. Get a new one. You can buy that anywhere. Oh no. I did not do that. Looks like she's in shock. Repair of the cat figurine. Okay, I'm assuming we have to find some glue because that's mostly how you're gonna do it. If a tail broke off of a figurine that looks like that, you have to find like some super glue that has gorilla grip or something. Oh crap. Shit. Pick that up. Pocket light with clip. Take this, yes. We have a complimentary horror game flashlight, finally. Conveniently, there's a light on here. I don't think it's a coinky dink either. I think she wanted you to find that thing. Is her hand gonna come out of the bed? Don't tell me. Why is the screen so dirty? Is this dude a four-eyed freak? Wipe your glasses, I told you. I knew that thing was hiding under the bed. We're on the same team. Why are you going against me? That's the thing that I don't understand. Why are you doing this to me? Yup. This game is so dramatic. It's so dramatic. Oh, dude. Now we're gonna have to see her in the dark. Fuck me. I do not want to do that. I was surprised. Then act surprised. You seem like that was just like a random Tuesday event. Great. Oh boy. This is nerve-wracking. Okay, let me check this. 
This is Ito from Development Section 1. I read your email, but was that serious? You asked me to check if anyone actually died in that company housing. Did you really see a ghost? That is just a rumor. Don't take it seriously. Even if there is a ghost, that room will be demolished in three days, right? Then the ghost will go away, I think. Well, I can ask some senior employees a little bit about it, but don't rely on me too much, Ito. I won't. I won't. Are you here? Oh, it's a fast drying adhesive. Take this? Yes. Okay. We got something. Now what do I need? Find adhesive B? Okay. Is she in that room? She's in the bathroom. Fuck. Okay. I'm nervous. Adhesive B. Hi. Don't do that to me. Adhesive B? No. Stop! You're right here, right? Okay. Let's see. Might be somewhere here. Come on. No? What the heck? You're right here, aren't you? It's a fast drying adhesive. Take this, yes. I've got both A and B glue mixtures. Now I should start to be able to repair the damaged part. Now I just need a file or something for molding. I hope I can find it somewhere. Oh, dude. Where would that be? Right here, right? I mean, she's right here? Fuck. Um, file? Please don't. Please, leave me alone. Where? Stop! Oh. Oh. Oh my god. This game is so freaking scary. Is that it? What is that? Old tank. Hand drill. Draw knife. Saw. Stick file. Yes! Oh my god. She was right behind me. The glue got the tail to stick. Now all I have to do is file away the glue that's sticking out and clean it up. No. What am I, bro? What do I look like? Okay. Dude, this is going up so slow. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Wait. So, I actually have to look around and stop? Oh, God. Okay. I don't like this. <sighs> no way. No way. <sighs> I'm so nervous. My hands are so sweaty. Boo! I shone my light on her. Is that what it is? Shown my light? She got depressed. I'm depressed. Let's have a battle of who got more depressed from that jump scare. You or me. Please. What the fuck? This is a joke. This is a sick joke. This is a sick joke! Come on, Jay. I hate how slow this guy is. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Holy crap. I thought I was gonna pass out from anxiety. I honestly thought I was. My armpits are so sweaty. Holy crap, I think it stuck beautifully. It was all right, I could have done better. If I wasn't shitting my freaking pants! I don't care, I don't care at this point. Whatever you throw at me next, nothing could have been as scary as what I just went through right there. That was nerve wracking. Like, honestly, I was genuinely just 
butt-clenching fear. <laughs> Enjoy your cat, because that was ridiculous. What am I looking at? like this game for some reason. It's weird. It's weird. It's right up my alley. It's the kind of weird that I enjoy. Because this ghost is scary, but then they throw a lot of comedic stuff at you. So you're kind of like, how am I supposed to feel right now? Like, look at this! She's about to kill me, and I'm like, ta-da! I repaired it because it looked repairable. How does that make you feel? Do you love me now? Do you? Why are you smelling the cat's ass? I'm sorry. Was it unnecessary? Let me know. Hit my line. You know my number. You've been haunting me since day one. I think we have two more days left. It's probably going to get scarier. I have a feeling. I hope that was the scariest part. Repairing that cat and keeping an eye on her. Because I don't want to do this no more. I really don't. She was very happy. All right. Hooray for being on her good side. Day number six. The life here is nearly over. What a way to put it. The life here is done. That's how he said it. Like, I'm almost out of this bitch. I was surprised to meet a roommate. But I've learned a lot about how to deal with her. Let me know. Give me a grocery list of how to avoid her. However, according to the schedule, this room is scheduled to be demolished after two days. And I'm sure that she knows that, right? I'm a little concerned about what will happen to her after the demolition. I guess we'll find out on day number six. Hi. I totally wasn't talking about you just now. I was just thinking out loud. What's that? Don't tell me you saw the demolition paper that I conveniently just left on that desk. There's like a little notepad with an arrow pointing to a key. Huh. She's up to mischief again. I thought you knew how to figure her out. Alright, tough guy. Oh no, don't. Please don't do that again. Find time of rest. Let me read this thing. A message from her. Confirm the contents? Of course. Unless you solve all the riddles, you'll stuck in this room forever. By the light box, grid lines indicate the keyhole. Follow the numbers and crush the squares. From the mouth of the white porcelain emerging in a cloud of white smoke, a signpost pointing to the key. The key unlocks the door of impurity. The pair of sake cups show where it is. When the sake cups are set on the table, the world will regain its light and warmth and people will find the time to rest. I am going to take a picture of this because my dumbass is not going to remember it. I think when they say the white porcelain, you're talking about the bathroom, right? Like the toilet. So by the light box, grid lines indicate the keyhole. A sticky note is on the table. Something is painted on it. Take this. Yes, I got the sticky note with the key drawn. So she's right here. Oh, wait, she's everywhere. Oh, shit. So she's not just in one spot. She's wherever the hell she wants to be. Let me read this. This is Yokoyama. Thank you for telling me about Nina. I am very sorry that I suddenly made an unreasonable request to you five years ago when you had just joined the company, but I still think it was the right thing to ask you. Thank you very much. It has already been five years since you joined the company. The time flies by so fast, doesn't it? Please give my best regards to your family, General Manager, Developed Division, Yokoyama. Okay, let me go this way. Okay, calm down, lady. Calm down, calm down. It's not that serious. Fuck. She's getting more aggressive. Where is it? What the hell? Wait, where is it? Why is this stuff here? Remove it? I'm good. I thought it was by the light box. The heck? Hold on. Calm down! Relax! I'm not scared of her no more. Oh my god, yes I am! Oh. 
Oh. Come on. Bro, what is happening? A strange paper is pasted. Check it closely? Sure. Um, hold on. Like that. Stop. Hold on. What is this illustration? Fountain? I think I saw it in the restroom. So we located the keyhole. Now we need to locate the key. Find the key. Locate the pair of sake cups. Find the pair of sake cups. Oh my fuck! Am I supposed to splash on your ass? That's the one that I need to do. Boil some water? Yes. Moisten the stickies with the steam? What did that have to do with pressing the button on the Oh, hot! <laughs> Locate the key. I'm trying to. Do I have the sticky note? Relax. 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 Whew. Oh my god. How do I item list? Bath. It's in the bath. Where the ghost was. Ah, shit. Okay. It's in here? Right here. A sticky note is pasted. Something is painted on it. Take this. I got the sticky notes with symbols drawn. Let me see. Key is... Something, three lines, F, T, V, F. Oh, so F is fountain? Wait, hold on. What's that? What's that, like, black box? And then three lines, and then F, and then T, V, and then F, and then the black box. I think the black box is the red symbol that's on the little toilet thing, and then the three lines, and then F, and then T, V, F, and then the black box again. So I'm gonna take a picture of this. And I think that F is the fountain looking one. And then obviously the black box is the red symbol. The three lines, I'm assuming, hold on. Let me see if I could do this. So let's do this. Don't, don't. So that, and then three lines. And then F, fountain. I'm assuming this is TV. Then F, and then that. Stop. Did I do it? <gasps> Got it. Okay. Let's see. A sticky note is pasted. Something is painted on it. Take this. Yes. I got the sticky note with 39 written on it. Okay, so I saw exactly where this is. And all of that has to add up to 39. I'm so bad at math. I'm not Albert Einstein, bro. I'm not Vincent Van Gogh. But this is it. 2x3 minus 75. You got me fucked up. Let me not do this on the fly. We have 3572x and a minus symbol. I'm actually going to take out the notebook that I always have on my desk. And we are just going to try to figure out in real time and not in game time. Let's try 75 minus 2x3. 75 minus 2 times 3 is 69. That's definitely not it. 57 minus 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. So 57 minus 6 equals 51. It would have to be like maybe 53 minus 2 times 7. Hold on, let me see. 2 times 7 is 14. So 53 minus 14 is 39. Okay, 53 minus 2x7 53 minus 2x7 don't 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 53 wait put it put it here oh my god right there 53 minus 2x7 got it oh my god please stop yes oh my goodness i can't believe i did that i mean all i did was do this that's all i did just process of elimination like I always do. Is this a sake cup? That looked like a regular ass mug to me. I'm not even kidding. What's going to happen now? Nothing. 
We just do what we do. <laughs> Not this again. Bro, you're not going to get bamboozled twice. <laughs> ah! Fuck! Oh my goodness, why is this game so terrifying? This is bad, dude. I have to go pee. This is bad. Can, can we get her some shoes, please? At least some socks. I'm tired of seeing those toes. So, we needed to find the sake cup so we can have some coffee together? But why, though? Are we homies now? What is this relationship between us two? I think we need to have the talk. Because I'm kind of confused. Can I have it? Please? Yes? No? Ah, is that your way of saying thank you? I mean, you're thanking me a day too late. I did that on day five. Those were your last two. Thank you so much for this. Don't tell me her face is going to pop out of the mug. Is it good? The tea she made was heartwarming. I bet. Tomorrow would be my last night in this room. That's right. That's kind of sad. So they're going to demolish this building and her spirit is going to be on the property forever. She's just going to be a wandering spirit for all eternity. Mission accomplished. That sucks thinking about it like that. Like her soul is just going to be stuck on whatever they build after that. And then she's interacting with somebody for one final time probably. Day 7. I can already imagine this day is going to be crazy. I can already picture it. Look at that. Pillows getting thrown, tossed all around. She's in a bad mood. Yep. She is just messing this shit up. She's been like this since I got back. She keeps taking it out on the furniture. <laughs> this game is funny. I'm sure she knows that tomorrow this room will be demolished. Once again, that is a sad thing to think about. But my guess is that she probably... <laughs> oh, man. This game is funny. It does have its moments. I like it. There's something I really need to tell her. Really? Come on, even the action figure? Anyway, I need her to calm down for once. She will. The battery has run out of charge. Is that my flashlight? Oh, no. What does that mean? What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> Mission objective, tell the truth. I'm ready. I'm here for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It's a smartphone. Confirm the contents. This is Ito from development section one. Thanks for your business trip. People have been reluctant to talk about the person who died at the company housing, but I finally found out what happened. It seems that a woman named Madoka Sawaise passed away five years ago. I don't know the cause of death, but it seems that she died in the room where she stayed during her business trip. If Sawase's ghost really existed in that room, I'm getting scared. I'll stay out of it, Ito. Okay, so that's her name. Madoka. And the phone is charging. Slowly. Oh, boy. Okay, I guess I just have to wait for it to charge. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Got it. This sucks. I'm just gonna hide here. Because I'm a little bitch. I really am. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry that you have to watch me out of all people. I'm such a little chicken shit. Uh-uh. I don't think so, lady. I don't think so, lady! Ah! So I can't be there in the corner. I can't be there in the corner. So the ghost can't go over the bed. That's awesome. Okay, this might be a good spot. I'm so nervous. 
Why is my light low? Oh! I'm just gonna keep moving around in a circle. <laughs> I don't know what else to do, everybody. I think this is the strategy. Just throw my ass in a circle. That's it. My leg is shaking so freaking hard. Get away from me! Come on. Got it! Holy crap, so all I had to do was circle around the table. Whew. My heart is beating so fast. <laughs> Finally, the charge is done. I wish a phone could charge that fast. I need that ghost charger, that ghost cable. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Please, put your mom's kitchen knife down. That's not funny. I don't think she's playing around. <laughs> I don't think that's a joke. You put a knife to somebody's throat, that's not joking around anymore. That's serious business. Want me to have a seat? As you probably know, tomorrow this place is gonna go boom. That's the sound of a bulldozer. This room will be demolished tomorrow. I probably won't see you again. So now I have something very important to tell you. You're Madoka Sawase, right? You worked for the same company as I do, and you stayed here at the company housing as well and died in this room five years ago. And this is my prediction. The reason you haven't gone to heaven is not because shacking up with good looking men, which you already established that I'm not. It's because you have some other regret, some unresolved issue in your life. Do you recognize it? Her name is Nina, and I got her from Mr. Yokoyama five years ago. So that was her cat before she died. And what, she doesn't want to go to heaven because her cat is still here? You were Nina's original owner, weren't you? After you passed away, Nina had nowhere else to go and was taken in by Mr. Yokoyama. But he couldn't take care of her for long. His daughter was found to be allergic to cats. Then I who had joined the company at the right time, was given the opportunity. Because I had already taken care of several cats in my family's temple. Hmm. That's cute. This piano's making me want to cry grown man tears. Nina passed away two weeks ago. Aww. She had an enlarged thyroid gland. It's a disease that affects a lot of older cats. She passed away peacefully in her sleep, surrounded by other cats. Aww. She had a sweet tooth, just like you. 
She often nibbled on the Japanese sweets I left in the living room. That's so sad. Nina was mourned with great care at my parents' house. That's really sad. Especially if you know the feeling of losing a pet, too. I never call them pets, too, because they're family members, but... You know, I lost my first dog this year, and... That shit kind of hurt. I'm not talking about losing her. Losing her, of course it hurt. I'm talking about um, the ending of this game. We have another day, afternoon. Let's check it out. Yeah, um, when you lose, you know, your um, your family like that. You know, dog, cat, turtle, pet, rat, anything. It hurts. And it's a feeling that'll never leave. A staff from the property management office and a junk dealer came and disposed of all the household goods. I really don't have a problem going home now, but I kind of helped them finish up. She hasn't been since last night. She hasn't been seen since last night, sorry. I was like, that didn't even make sense. Well, time to go. That makes sense now. The cat statue and why she was so frustrated when she was trying to put it together. Huh? What? Do you feel like a presence or something? Why is the screen dirty? She did it, finally. Mission objective. Check out from the room. I did not know what to expect from this game. I actually didn't even expect it for me to get into my feels. But... What just happened at that end right there, honestly, got me choked up. It made me think about Sakura. It made me think about, you know, how much I miss her. There's a phone on the ground. It's a smartphone. Take this. I got the smartphone. Okay, let me see. Okay, never mind. Let me not see. I guess we're just supposed to find items here. Like this. It's a key to my house. Take this. Why did I leave it in the bathroom? But yeah, anyone who's lost their family member, their, their furry friend, I know you all could relate. It's a bullet train ticket. Take this, yes. I'm sure nothing will be forgotten now. It's time to check out. Okay. Let's get to it. How do I get out of here? Oh, I guess I have to grab my luggage. Oh wait, there's papers on the ground. There's a message on a paper. Confirm the contents? You seem to have misunderstood something. I'll tell you what. It's true that Nina has been on my mind for a long, long time. But I stayed in this room because I really wanted to live together with a good-looking guy. When you showed up as the last resident in this room, I was disappointed from the bottom of my heart. After all, my dream didn't come true until the very end. Well, these seven days were not so bad in their own way. As for Nina, I want to thank you again. Thank you for taking care of her to the end instead of me. She was very shy, and I thought she would never miss anyone but me. But in the pictures, Nina seemed to be enjoying her new environment very much. I was a little surprised that she could get along with other cats. I guess she must have been very comfortable in your home. I was a little jealous, but I was relieved that Nina seemed happy. Thank you for making Nina happy. It's time for me to leave this room. I let my wild side out during your stay. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had my favorite sweets. I got to see Nina in the picture again. And on top of that, I was able to enjoy my life with you, even if it was only for a little while. There is no reason for me to stay here any longer. Thank you for your seven-day business trip. Thank you for everything. Take care of yourself. Holy crap. <laughs> that whole thing made me want to cry, man. Jeez. I didn't expect that from this game. And if I get jump scared one more time, it's going to ruin everything. Your admiration for good-looking men is amazing. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man this game I don't know if the comedy is unintentional but it's so funny I think there are more important factors to consider when choosing a man than his face for example the ability to stay calm even when there's a ghost next to him or stay clam I like calm better so we just have that poise is that what you're telling me we remain calm, keep calm. Got you. I wonder if Nina's gonna meet her in heaven. Or wherever they're gonna go. Huh? What's happening? Please don't jump scare me. You've traumatized me. I keep feeling like I'm about to get jump scared every single time. Are you going already? I have to. I mean, isn't this shit gonna be demolished? I don't wanna die here. Wait. I want you to have this. There is nothing in that hand, dude. You're not fooling anybody. Especially not this ghost. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the tail hair I got from Nina's corpse. Oh. I want you to have it. Is this game trying to make me cry? Like, what the f- Jeez. I will return Nina to you. I think she'd want that. <sighs> this game, bro. go inside me bro imagine she possessed me You know when you feel something right here? That's when you know it got you. Huh. So why is she dressed like that? I always assumed that if you were a ghost, You'd be wearing the outfit that you passed away in. Oh. That's so cute.
Bro, are we about to watch her walk like a mile? Barefoot? Sorry. Sorry for talking shit. I know it's a very vulnerable moment. This damn game keeps making me want to cry, bro. <sighs> hmm. All right. That was it, everybody. That was Seven Nights Ghost. So I guess in the end, she got returned with Nina. Someone that she cared about very much. And like I said, it made me think about Sakura. She's the first dog I ever had. Lost her this year and just made me think about things like that. Like, if you're ever going to see them again in like another world or maybe they're waiting for you. I know people who have lost anyone, not even just dogs or cats or any other animal or person. I know we all think that. We all think that, you know, are we going to see them again? And I know it's normal. It's part of the grieving process. You know, it, it gives us optimism. It gives us something to look forward to, I guess, even though, you know, maybe we'll never see them again. Um it gives you optimism and it gives you something to fight for like in your heart so that's why the ending got to me because you know she was stuck there because she wanted to know what happened to her cat nina and then when the person showed her that uh you know he took care of the cat and then the cat ended up passing away that that was really sad the game itself like i said when you're looking for the items day after day it kind of got a little repetitive, but it did keep you on edge when the ghost was chasing you and always a constant threat. And it was funny. I did like it. I looked forward to all the cutscenes because I wanted to know the interaction between the guy staying in the place for seven days and the ghost. So I enjoyed this. It was actually like something that I wasn't expecting to be good, but that ending is something that's going to keep this game on my mind whenever I think about games that I actually enjoyed. I always feel like games that have a great ending, they stick with me. Because you can have, like, really fun gameplay, but the endings always stick with me, no matter what. Like, if they're really good, I'm like, that game was really good, just based off the ending. I know that's not fair, but that's just something that I personally think about and... This game had a had an ending that I really enjoyed personally. Let me know what you all thought about Seven Nights Ghost in the comment section down below. Hopefully you all enjoyed my playthrough of it. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.